my name's Barbara Barker, and I write plant-based cookbooks. One is called Enlightened High Tea Party, that I call book number one. And this is Inspired Plant-Based Parties, which I call book number two. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make true party food. Uh, we're going to be making the tortilla roll-up spirals. And uh, as my sister says, make a lot of those because I can eat those all day long. So uh, to get started, I'm going to show you how to make the uh, cranberry uh, roll-up. And it can be either a savory or a sweet. You can even serve it as a dessert, but it is uh, technically an appetizer. So. Um, so I'm only showing you half a recipe because I don't want to be here rolling things up and I don't want a lot of leftovers. So um, this is half recipe. The full recipe is in book number two. Uh, so we're going to start with a fourth of a cup of pureed tofu. This is my new go-to instead of plant-based yogurt or cream cheese or even the plant-based cream cheese, uh, because the yogurt and the cream cheese have an enormous amount of fat in them. And the, the tofu, this is the, the block tofu that you get, the, what I call the wet one, because it's floating in water. Or you can use the aseptic box. It doesn't make any difference. But you have to puree it in the food processor or a high-speed blender so that you get it to the consistency of kind of like a stiff yogurt. And then um, we're going to have a fourth of a cup of cooked brown rice. And the brown rice just kind of gives it a little bit of volume. You don't need to put brown rice in here if you don't want to, or if you are thinking about um, carbs. Um, the um, the tofu, by the way, only has like two grams of fat in the whole 16 ounce box. So, as I said last time, do the math. Then I want um, a fourth of a cup. These are soaked uh, cranberries, dried cranberries. They're called craisins in the store. But the big problem with these are they are dried using lots of sugar. So what I do is I put them in a measuring cup and I pour hot water over them. You can use your Instacot or just hot water from the tap. And I soak them in that hot water for about 15 minutes. Then I strain them and I throw the sugar water away because I can't see any reason to be putting all that sugar in our system. And um, next I have some, um, about a tablespoon of chopped celery. It's also just an extender. You don't have to put this chopped celery if you don't want to. Um, but celery is a true superfood. Then I have a couple tablespoons of chopped scallions. You could put chives, you could put red onions, you could put any kind of onion flavor you want. But the flavor that, that makes this dish as sweet and as savory comes from the combination of the sweet cranberry flavor and the um, kind of bitterness of the onion. So, but every ingredient that just went in this little bowl is a superfood. I don't have time to go into the big list of everything that cranberries and onions do for you, but um, they definitely help your immune system. Then the next thing is, oh, this is what it looks like when it's all mushed up. And I want you to know, um, stir this by hand, chop your vegetables by hand, stir this by hand, because one time I tried to make it in the food processor to like speed things up. And um, the problem was, 
get turned into a big watery mess. So you don't want that. The next thing you're going to need is a, um, these are spinach and herb um, tortillas. They put the opening at the wrong end, so when I hold them up, they fall out. Um, these are made out of spinach and rice. So remember I said, if you eat any green vegetable with any rice or any grain, they combine in your system to make a complete protein. And please, please, please get the gluten-free ones. I won't get on my soapbox about gluten, but I will tell you that the wheat that we have been purchasing and eating for about the last 30 years is genetically modified. And um, these are not GMOs. So if you get gluten-free anything, probably has not been GMO, so check your labels. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get on my soapbox, but um, the thing with GMO, or genetically modified, is that um, it, it has dire consequences for our immune system. And uh, what I'm going to say is, um, if you want to look into that subject, in depth, uh, you can Google it. Um, but another thing about genetically modified food is that it kills the seeds from the food that's been genetically modified, like corn or whatever. So the seeds from that genetically modified uh, vegetable is won't reproduce. So you'll have to make up your own mind on that. But um, if you want your immune system to stay well, uh, stay away from GMO food. What I just did was I spread the, um, the filling on the tortilla and I roll it up. You can do a thin layer, you can do a thick layer. You can see this is a thick layer, this is a thin layer. So it's how it comes out looking for aesthetics that happens. You start at one end and you roll it up. They call this jelly roll fashion. And you crimp the edges together. And if it looks like it's not going to stick, you just put a little of your filling on the ends to get it to stick. And you put it on a dish. And you put it seam side down. And you put this dish in a, you either cover it with plastic wrap or you can put it in a plastic bag and put it in your refrigerator or it has to chill for at least two hours or overnight and then the next day when they're firm, um, I don't even know if it will cut right now, but the next day you can you cut them like this into one inch pieces. And this first piece, of course, they call the tail. They give that, that to the cook. Then you can cut them to whatever size you like. You can make them thin, you can make them thick. But to get the spiral, if you go about one inch, then you'll get to where you want to be. So you can see that's what a one inch looks like. And then you can make these, well, you should make these the day before your party, and then keep them in the refrigerator. And, uh, or you can serve them with a meal, or these you can serve as dessert. So um, that's the first one. Those are called cranberry spiral. Then um, the next one I'm going to show you is called a garden spiral. And um, this, in this mixing bowl or cup, I have carrots, cooked carrots that have been diced, small diced, and uh, brown rice cooked, and celery, including the leaves, and um, one scallion chopped. And, um, but you can put any vegetable you like. It doesn't have to be these vegetables. Um, you can add olives. You can add um, 
my notes here. Let me look at my notes so that I'll remember. Olive artichoke hearts is what I forgot. Roasted bell, bell peppers are beautiful in this kind of a salad. I'm going to put this little bitty dabby of filling in this little container so that I can keep going here. Um, so, in a small bowl, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to mix all your ingredients with your tofu. Um, and you know, tofu is a complete um, protein. And it's, it's, it's also a superfood. So um, you mix so you get it to the consistency that you want. Everything all mixed up together. And um, once you have made these, then I'm sure you will be wanting to get very creative uh, in how you make these. Like I said, you put olives or artichoke hearts, you know, finely uh, chopped and um, have a little extra ground puree tofu in case you need it to get going better. Like I said, I've used everything to try to make these. I've used real cream cheese, I've used plant-based cream cheese, I use yogurt, but the thing that works the best for me now is the pureed tofu. And um, like I said, if, you, if you're conscious about money and doing the math, um, a one pound box of tofu is about $2.50. And um, a half a cup of plant-based um, cream cheese is five dollars so you don't get much you're spending a lot of money and I, I noticed that the um, fat content of the plant-based cream cheese is also way way up there I don't remember the exact number but it's up there so I hope you're getting some good information about um, what I keep preaching in my um, my plant-based cooking, uh, you don't have to put all this. This will make about actually it will make about two two wraps. Half half of a recipe will make two wraps. And um, if you're if you're making the full recipe out of the book, um, it will probably make uh, four tortilla wraps. Depending on how much filling you put in and how much um, how much diced vegetable you put in, you can always use the celery as an extender if it looks like you're going to run out of filling or you need to make a lot of these for a party. Um, use the celery instead of the brown rice as your extender because the um, the celery is so good for us. It um, actually it can heal us head to toe. So then again, seam side down, two hours. After two hours, take it out of the fridge, cut the tails off, um, cut them into one inch spirals, and um, voila. There you have your party tray. And um, people eat these like they're going out of style. So um, I hope you will make these. And I hope you will keep in mind that you are valuable. And that you really should take care of yourself. And consider what you're putting inside your body. Thank you.